All right, welcome back for episode 16 of this Let's Play as a Julii. So it's time to do some recruitment. And got these forces joining up to take this settlement from Britannia. Looks like they got reinforcements coming this way, so I want to make sure I have training queued up here and get this fully stacked. So let's see, we've got four cavalry, four training units, good amount of infantry, but I think having a piece of artillery would be nice. Oh yeah, I forgot this changed. Okay, so hmm. So now this is Roman cavalry. Cavalry auxiliary. Ballistas are the same, I believe. Early legionary cohort. Looks like that replaced Princapes and Hastati. And then Auxilia are gonna be anti cavalry. So let's get two squads of Auxilia first. And then we'll cap it off with the Ballistas. Hmm. Still no sight on the other Spanish army. I thought they had another full stack in this area, but they might have gone south. So... Figure we'll keep our, our stack in our marshes as it is. So I'm gonna start assembling another main army. And what are we gonna go for here? So we've already got stuff queued up there. I think Patavium is kind of gonna be functioning on its own for now because of the public order situation. So we'll get four archers. We'll get three archers and a ballista. Get cavalry from here. Get straight Roman cavalry. And then what did I get here? I was getting early cohort, two early cohort and two auxilia. And then here I'll get Praetorian legionary. Interesting. Okay, what are the stat differences on these guys? N17, 9. N22, 9. N23, 12. I think I'll stick with these guys for now. The other, the other variants are so much more expensive. Not so much, but they're, they're a good bit more expensive, and the stats aren't that much better, proportionally. And in fact, let me take a quick check at their upkeep as well. 210, 210, 320. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm not I'm not packing money right now, so my income looks nice, but it's actually not that good for how how many territories we have at this point, so leave that as it was and Hmm. I think we're okay over here in Lemonum. Look at that, I have a merchant here this whole time. Didn't even realize it. <clears throat> so send him over here to trade lead. Loud and clear. Your honor? Holy hell. He's making 41 per turn up here, but up here he's gonna make 281. Why is that the case? Acquiring goods. What the heck? Sure. Okay, hold on. 31, 26, 25. Securing right, okay, resources. so he'll make more on the iron, I guess. So it seems like if you have someone trading the same resource, that has an impact on things. A large impact so now we should be mostly good he already moved hmm. just realized I forgot to start my stopwatch I'll get that going now 
There, okay. That's what I was looking for. And I was just talking about that. Hmm. All right, so we got a new enemy. Hmm. Okay, that place expanded. That diplomat's gone. Hmm. Training, recruitment, Remnum and Alicia. Remnum. And we lost a lot of income from that. Let's see what this is gonna get us. 116. I guess it's worth it. It's gonna take a little while to pay off, but it'll be worse. Okay, so let's see if we can break these. If we lose this here, that would be unfortunate, but it is what it is. I don't have any more generals sitting, getting ready. I almost want to send one of these guys out. I think I might send my faction leader out and have him start commanding. He's 64 though, so I would imagine he'll pass soon. But these guys down this way. And this army is almost here. Ouch. Hopefully we can get some more command from winning this battle. Let's see. But he, right now he's at 7th command. That's actually pretty good. He must have some kind of buff against when commanding against Barbarian. Okay, so we killed over half of theirs. They killed about a third of ours. Or a fourth of ours. That was a good trade. This guy's a lower ranking commander, so even if they have numbers on us by the time they arrive, we should still be okay. These guys might hit look on them, so. Hmm. Do some recruitment here. And we do not have a general here, and we have a lot of peasants, so let's see if we can win this. Assuming it's gonna be a loss or a draw. Maybe we win on troop quality because of the massive amount of skirmishers that they have. Okay, nice. That's fortunate. So let's consolidate, resort, and train. Hmm. Okay, to be continued over there. Okay, so my diplomat's gone. What happens if I take him out of here? Fuck. <laughs> That's horrible. Okay, well, my faction leader is not coming out anytime soon. Unfortunately. Hmm. Pirates over here. Aye, aye, Fleet repaired first. Did I not repair them? Or they not need repair? If they don't need repair. Okay. Whoops. Alright, well. I'll leave them for now. As long as they're not blockading anything. Not too bothered by them. Okay, so this guy, I want him moving out. So let's see how many troops I can take. Bring all the mercenaries. Okay, I can bring a good amount of guys. Looks like. Bring more experienced troops. Still at 146. Still at 146. 41. Okay, I think that's, we'll just leave him there. Pick up taxes. And, um. What'll I do for income? That's probably worth it. Okay. 
There we go. So we'll get this guy some training. Hmm. Your Honor. The chance of both getting this. Oh, this is a Spanish trader. Can I get him with this guy? 95% chance of taking him. Okay, nice. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back up here. This guy's freed up to get some work done. Securing resources. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had these guys on the move. So they are going to block this force from getting their way over towards Dunham. Forgot to put one of the squads of Triarii in there, but no worries. Yep, <clears throat> expected that. Video is gone. Hmm. Damn, faction. I was just saying he might pass away. Okay, so we got a new faction leader. Sir, orders. Fight our way out of this. Attack. Got multiple of these chariots. Hopefully they're light ones. Damn, we smashed them there. Benefits of having a good general. Okay, so we got Ballista and we'll get some more cavalry. Okay. Got training going on in Spain. So just the expands. Lost a Trans Transylpine Gaul. I don't know where that is. See if I can figure that out by zooming out. Uh, down here, huh? Oh, okay, so it must have been a trader over here. That was, um, I could have sworn there was a trade resource in here. Maybe not. Oh, maybe he was trading wine. Okay, so he was from Batavium. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Keep trading peasants. Oh, boy. All right, so just to expanded, so we're gonna get the city center there. The wars. Okay. All right, well, this guy's arriving, so. What does this look like now? Okay, that's much better. We still lost a pretty good amount of troops, but... Could have been way worse. Hmm. Hmm. I should have checked the map first to see what was bordering me. I don't know if this is owned by Thrace or Scythia or Britannia. That would have, that would have influenced what I did here. We'll just occupy it. Sir. Okay, so this guy is going to be one of our. Well, we'll yeah. let this. We'll let um, Lucius be our next general pushing up this way. So probably empty some of this stuff out. Sir. So we got four range units and four cavalry here, along with whatever. Here. So we'll send him Consolidate. 
one more squad of guys. We'll give him another squad of archers. And then he's gonna march up towards. Okay, so this is owned by Thrace. Okay, that is a very good thing because that means I probably don't need to protect myself over here. There's a chance that Thrace will declare war on me, but. Anywho, we'll head up this way. In all likelihood, we're going to send some guys out of this town in the near future. Place some peasants and whatnot. Enforcement's coming up this way. General. And I think it's probably worth hiring a little bit of mercenaries. I guess that's all that's here. And sieging here. Now we hold that. And then our reinforcements that can't fit in Alicia will then push over to reinforce. Quick time check. Okay. So we're two turns in a recruitment. Damn, I wish I could. I wish I could train generals or, or like produce. Maybe like instigate a. Um, bringing of a new family member on board or something like that. Think very carefully before you reply. <laughs> I don't understand. We're already at war. Hey, why would I ever accept that? Until next time. Oh, they're coming back this way. Shit. I don't know how I didn't see this coming. <laughs> I should have been training guys here. So, you know what? Let's just do this. I'm going to lift the siege and I'm going to kill these guys. The siege is broken. Victory and glory. And then I'm going to hit these guys. Engage the enemy. Victory and glory. So, attack. Victory and glory. Prepare for battle. Victory okay, nice. And and we can turn back around. Keep moving this way. So, okay, this is going to be curious. What I'm wondering is if I attack with a captain and let's say I win a battle or maybe multiple, is it going to offer for that captain to be promoted to a general? Because I feel like I've seen that happen in other Total War games. Recruiting here. Land Auxilia. Alright, so we're one turn away from moving the rest of these forces up. Okay, let's check all these. here to maintain public order. Sewers, although this also increased public health, so then I'll get more population growth, which I don't want. <laughs> uh, damn it. Hmm. Well, it'll mean more money, so Let's do that. Okay, so this guy's making 358. He could be making more on copper. Or just train another merchant from Riminum. 
Tabby, I'm okay. Okay, so what I had wanted to do was attack with this captain. Again. Auto resolve. Wow, they actually killed more guys than we did. Okay, see, this is exact. Okay, nice. So maybe this is something I should do every once in a while when I feel like I need a new general. Just send send a squad of standard troops out. Yes. All right, there we go. Okay. General. So that is convenient. Sir. So what I'll do is we can fit one more guy in here outside of the troop that's training. Sir. So I'll send one of his troops up here. Who do I? Who do I want to send? Hmm. None of these troops can get retrained. General Imperator. But this one squad can get merged, so I think I'll just leave that and bring these guys over here. And then this new settlement, we got some stuff going, so okay, that's still under construction. This gentleman can move up this way. They're, they're basically sending everything they have over here. General. And actually, you know what? Before I head out, Sir. what I'm going to do Sir. is... I move up here? Get a watchtower. That yeah, gave us decent vision, nothing Order. crazy. Orders. And then... This gentleman, as he moves up, see if we can build one on the end of this bridge. Yes. Okay. Keep coming this way, so we'll stop on the bridge. And then this spy. Dacia? That must be old information, because this is showing Thrace. I think the, the borders that show on the map are more accurate than clicking on the settlement and seeing. This is probably based on the last time I, I visibly had a unit in the area, so. Your Honor. But what I'll do with the spy is send him up over here. On my way. No more moves. Next to that bridge. Get some deeper information on Britannia. All right, so I started my stopwatch a little bit late, so I think I'm around the 20-minute mark at this point. So I am going to end here. Man, our progress really got slowed by all these armies that we've been getting hit by. A lot of stuff coming from Britannia, which I expected up here. And Spain hit us, which I wasn't too surprised by, but it did come at a time I, I wasn't... Um, I had not seen their army in the area, so they must have been hiding in trees or something like that. I wonder if they were traveling up this way and I didn't see them um, in an ambush stance or something. But either way, for the next episode, I think the focus is just going to be on making sure we don't lose Elysia. Just reinforcing here, potentially sending troops from other settlements. Unless I can keep up recruitment with how fast I'm losing guys. Getting these two generals working together to take out Gaul up here. One of them is going to get redirected down into this area to take their last settlement, and then the other one will probably get moved over to push against Britannia with, I think, where is our faction leader? This is our heir. Imperator. Imperator. Well, I'm not going to go hunting him down right now, but wherever our faction leader is, um, we'll probably try to get him involved as well. He's probably one of these generals in here. But... Until the next episode, I will see you then.